Hey, Rick. Megan, it's Tuesday. Here we are. We're here to learn. We're here to learn about stuff. And uh, we've got something totally uninteresting, but very necessary on the agenda today. Tell everybody, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're talking about conforming loan limits. Conforming so, loan limits. I know, right? Okay, what's that mean? It's like, okay. Right. It's, 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 it's only boring until you're up against that limit and you have to make a decision. Uh, and it gets real exciting real fast. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, what the heck? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. tell us everything. Tell us what we need to know. Okay. So um, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae established what they consider loan limits based on the county nationwide. It used to be years ago that there was just one loan limit at a certain level across the country. When you go above that loan limit, you go into the jumbo category. Jumbo is an entirely different animal, entirely different guidelines and down payments and so on. So we try as much as we, now the jumbo is a great loan for certain people, but for most people, it's much more challenging. So we wanna stay out of that jumbo category as much as we can. And so years ago, they had one loan limit for everybody where there was Orange County, LA County, Riverside County is one loan limit. The, the challenge is that in high, now they consider high cost areas, which is Riverside County, I'm not Riverside, uh, Los Angeles County, Orange County, those are considered high cost areas. And so they took that conforming loan limit and added, added one more layer of loan limits called high balance conforming. Oh. So, um, so if you look at Orange County, for example, the conforming loan limit across the board is 548250. Mm -hmm. The high balance loan limit is 822375. Mm -hmm. So the benefit there, and especially in Orange County, when you go above that limit, you get you get to go to 822375 loan amount and stay out of that jumbo space, mm -hmm. which is pretty beneficial. However, though, when you go to that jumbo space, I'm sorry, the high balance, conforming high balance space, the rate is a tiny bit higher, not by much, it's about an eighth of 1% higher maybe, but that's still much better than a jumbo loan because in that, even in that high balance space, you can do a 5% down payment. Mm -hmm. You cannot do a 5% down payment jumbo. So what's, so the okay. Orange County, uh, um, High balance conforming loan limit is 848, did you say? The conforming limit in the high cost area is LA Orange County, 548,250. What's the high, high one? High balance goes up to 822,375. So you can buy up to 822,375 and put 5% down? That's the loan amount. So oh, you can okay. be really at 850,860 sales price and put 5% down. Mm -hmm. So if somebody cool, wanted right? to spend a million and they wanted to get a conforming loan, then they would just mm -hmm. have to keep it under the 822. Right. Now, in some of those cases, if they've got, let's say they've got 10% down, let's say you're doing a million dollar house. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have 10% down, that's a loan amount of 900,000. So that puts you into the jumbo space. The challenge in that jumbo space, it's really hard to get 10% down financing right. um, to, get, to, get, to get a good rate at least. So in the jumbo space, it's really 20% down. You have to have a higher FICO score, more cash reserves and so on. So not a bad loan, but they're a little bit more difficult to get. So right. in that scenario, let's say somebody has a 10% down payment and your max conforming is 822,375. We're gonna bridge that difference between 900,000 and 822,375 mm -hmm. with a second mortgage line of credit. Mm -hmm. So it's called a, so that's called a piggyback, right? Right. So we do a first and a second mortgage, to keep you into that conforming space for that first mortgage. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So you're saying this, you're saying that uh, there's a con there's conforming loan limits and there's mm -hmm. the low and the high end of it. And Correct. it's much easier and you have many more options to qualify in a conforming loan limit, such as Correct. Uh, a 5% down, or mm -hmm. you don't have to have a million dollars in reserves in the bank. Because once you go over that loan limit, then you're in the jumbo space, and then things start to get a little uncomfortable if you Correct. don't have a huge down payment or- and Higher uh, FICO scores and lower debt ratios, all those things, yeah. 
But you're saying, okay, in the maximum piggyback is, what did you say, 250, right? Well, actually, on a on a on a um, owner occupied property, you can go to five hundred thousand. Holy cow! Generally, well, yeah, gee, I don't really have to go that high to, on those. Actually, you can get a loan up to one point, you know, three something, using mm -hmm. the conforming and the piggyback, and then your down payment. Right. So, for example, you have a buyer that's got really good income. They want to buy a house for a million one, million two, but they've only got you know they've got ten percent down. They really can't do a jumbo, but they've got the income, right? Right. So in that's and that's in that case, just do the, the piggyback. No big deal at all. It's a great loan. What's the difference in just for example, you know, just mm -hmm. in general, the mm -hmm. high balance conforming loan interest rate and a jumbo interest rate? Um, depends. They they actually and the high balance rate and the jumbo rate are pretty close in mm -hmm. terms of rate. Um how they determine the rate the difference on jumbo it's based on down payment fico score and cash reserves mm -hmm. so for example um somebody you know a 740 fico is a really good fico we can agree on that but on a jumbo sometimes on those products if your fico is above 760 you get a better rate even more even mm -hmm. even better than that and if you've got more cash reserves so generally on a jumbo the cash reserve requirement is six months of PITI reserves, principal interest mm -hmm. taxes and insurance, right? But if you have 12 months or 18 months or 36 months cash reserves, your rate is better. So there's right. more variables that go into that jumbo pricing. Mm -hmm. um, but that pricing, depending upon the variables, can be really, really good. So, so they're good know, loans. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's just so many moving parts to uh, right. getting your financing sometimes. And that's why it's important to have it all sort of figured out before you go out looking for a house because you're going to go it's out helpful. looking for a house you're going to get emotionally invested mm -hmm. and not have you know counted your numbers mm -hmm. and so then you know you might be feeling like you're getting squeezed mm -hmm. uh when you go to do the numbers later so it's good to have this all sort of worked out ahead of time yeah yeah right it's all about we talked about this before about being prepared right right and, and it's challenging for me too. I'll have a buyer will call me, for example, on a weekend, all excited about an offer, getting a house, and then I go through the numbers, and it's like you can't really quite do it that way. But they want this house, we can't make it work, and then it's it's it's, it's the wrong side to be on, right? right? So you want to be on the right side of that curve, which is get approved up front. Let's get those numbers together. Let's know what the game plan is. And then when you make that offer, darn it, you're really prepared to know what to expect. That's yeah. the best way to go. That is the best sure. way to go. Well, People get excited and, you know, and I get it. I get excited too. Oh yeah, sure, of course. With this, this part of things. Well, good. Yeah. And, and can you tell me, do you know off the top of your head, sorry, I'm putting you on the spot here, That's what right. the high balance uh, conforming loan limits are in the surrounding counties? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. So when you get into, here's the difference. A great question, by the way, Megan. So when you get outside of the high cost areas, for example, in our area, it's LA Orange County. You get into the standard conforming areas. Those are Riverside, San Bernardino. Here's where I find fault with that max loan limit. Is that Freddie and Freddie and Fannie determine that limit based on the average sales price of the entire county. Right. So you look at, for example, Riverside and San Bernardino, there's some outlying areas out in the middle oh, of nowhere yeah. where houses are like, you know, 200,000. Right? right. And so, so that those numbers are still factored into the cost of housing. And so I think the challenge for us is that, you know, you go over that border into Corona and most of Corona, really all of Corona, some parts of Riverside, that's really high balance territory. Right, right. You know, so I think that's the flaw with the system, at least for now. Mm -hmm. I, I really hope at some point that Freddie and Fannie will reconsider, you know, that map, if you will. Who knows? That's right. just my hope. Uh, but the good news, though, too, is that every year, Freddie and Fannie reassess those, those maps those prices. And so we are going to get an official announcement from Freddie and Fannie sometime in the next, you know, usually around late November of the new loan limits are going to be released. Um, we're thinking though that the conforming loan limit for 2022 will be around 625,000. That's a really nice bump, by the way. Yeah, it's, a, it's a bigger than usual. And then I think on the high balance stuff, something in the 900,000 range. So I think oh. that's what we can expect probably at, at toward the end of the year. Um, so that's good news. Yeah. yeah. So it, it helps out. 
Yeah. All right. Well, good. Well, that's a lot to think about. And I thank you very much for that information. And again, if you have You're any welcome. questions, if you have any topics that you want to see Rick and I talk about, just shoot us a message and we'd be happy to dig into that for you. Uh, sounds good. All fun. Thank you, Rick. See you next week. Thanks, Megan. See ya. Bye-bye.